over on this side, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to whatever these two multiply to, which is positive 6, and two numbers that multiply sorry, that add up to negative 7. Those numbers will be negative 6 and negative 1. So we can split up the negative 7x into a negative 7, sorry, into a negative 6x and negative 1x. We can add the 3 equals 0 and break da bring down the 2x squared. Now I can factor by grouping. I can factor out a 2x so 2x squared divided by 2x is just x. Negative 6x divided by 2x is just negative 3. And over here we have negative x plus 3, so I can factor out a negative 1. And why do I do that? Just because we are going to factor out whatever number multiplies the x. So we'll take out a negative 1 in this case. So negative 1x divided by negative 1 is x. 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3. Actually, let me just be slightly more clear about what I said over here. We won't always take away the number that is in front of the x, but in this case, because we didn't have anything common between 1 and 3, we had to take, take the negative 1 out, and that's it. So over here, 2x minus 1, we can combine those and multiply 2x minus 1 by these elements that are repeating only once. So we have 2x minus 1 times x minus 3 equals 0. And x is going to be equal to positive 3 from the x minus 3, or positive half from the 2x minus 1. Let's see if I have room to explain that a little bit more properly. <laughs> Just because I know that 2x minus 1 can be equal to 0, so I can add 1 to both sides of the equation. So 2x equals 1, so I can divide both sides by 2. So x is going to be half. Therefore, our solution would be x is 3 or half. That's it.